Optimized Idle is an innovation from Detroit that helps maintain a comfortable temperature inside a truck's sleeping area while the truck is parked, all while minimizing idle time, maintaining battery charge, and saving fuel. This video will give you step-by-step -step instructions for using Optimized Idle. Begin with your truck parked and the hood closed. With the engine running, set the park brake. With the DT12 transmission, move the rotating gear selector switch into neutral. Make sure the transmission gear shift is in neutral by centering the shift lever in the gate. Shift into high range using the range selector switch. Turn on your cruise control, set high idle, and wait for the usual idle shutdown. The cruise control must be turned on once the engine is idling. If it was turned on previously, turn it off and then on again. Notice that the idle management light flashes to show that the system is preparing to arm the optimized idle feature. When the engine shuts down, the idle management light stops flashing and stays on. This means that the system is armed, maintaining battery voltage and engine oil temperature. At this point, the system begins to start and stop the engine. When you're ready to cool the sleeping area, locate the optimized idle thermostat above the bunk's fan controls and turn it on by pressing any key. The mode button enables you to scroll through the available functions and to set your temperature. When the thermostat screen is lit up, displaying the current temperature and previous mode, the thermostat is activated. If the cab needs to be cooled or heated, the cool heat icon will flash. Select the snowflake symbol for cooling. Turn your blower fans on high and the air conditioning system to full cool. Once on, the system will control the HVAC fans. When you want to heat the cab, select the heat wave symbol. The thermostat screen will illuminate with the bunk temperature visible and the appropriate icon indicating which mode the system is in. Make sure that the heat or cool selection on the thermostat matches the cab controls so the system does not idle and cycle excessively. Press the mode button and hold it to set it at either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Press the up or down arrow buttons to raise or lower the temperature. To turn off thermostat mode and return to engine mode only, press and hold the mode button for three seconds. It is important to note that optimized idle will be automatically disabled if the shift lever or range selector is moved even slightly, or if the clutch is pressed or the park brake is released. If this happens, the idle management light will turn off. You will need to repeat the procedures described earlier in order to restart optimized idle. Once the bunk reaches your selected temperature, optimized idle shuts off the truck's engine to save energy. When the temperature rises or falls, the truck will automatically restart. Please note that whenever the engine starts up, an underhood alarm will sound for several seconds to alert people near the truck that the engine is about to start. After the alarm pauses for two seconds, the engine will start. Inside the cab, the alarm is barely audible. To minimize any rocking motion during engine shutdown, optimized idle automatically engages the engine brakes. While using air conditioning, be sure to keep the thermostat temperature setting as high as possible and your windows rolled up to reduce the amount of engine run time for cooling. Improvements in cab bunk design mean they're well insulated to make it easier than ever to keep heat in during cold weather and out during warm weather. To maximize efficiency and minimize idle time and to reduce engine starting and stopping, unplug or turn off any power inverters you may have plugged in. The less unnecessary equipment you have running, the more efficiently the system operates. Optimized idle can be set to work in conjunction with the S-Bar heater to keep the truck's batteries charged. The S-Bar heater has its own heater control. To heat the truck interior, turn on the S-Bar heater and adjust the control to your desired temperature. Warm air will be vented into the bunk area. If your truck is equipped with ParkSmart and Optimized Idle, you can set Optimized Idle to maintain the battery charge even while in ParkSmart mode for a long period of time. Make sure the ignition key is on. The systems work together as long as the blower control is set to any position except zero. When Optimized Idle is engaged, the idle management light and ParkSmart on-off button will not function. If Optimized Idle should shut down, 
ParkSmart will continue to run until the batteries reach the low voltage disconnect. When you're ready to get back on the road, turn off the cruise control switch and press the clutch or release the park brake to disable optimized idle. You can also choose to use the drive away feature. If the engine is not running, start it, then release the parking brakes or put the transmission into gear. Let the engine return to base idle. The active idle management light will turn off, indicating that optimized idle is disabled. Besides temperature control, battery charging, and minimized idle time, using optimized idle means that your truck is already warmed up and ready to go. Just push in the clutch and shift into gear. If your optimized idle system ever needs service, any Freightliner dealer or Detroit distributor can make repairs. Now that you know how to operate Detroit Optimized Idle, you can use it whenever you need it to maintain a comfortable temperature, keep your battery charged, and save fuel.